<laughs> What's going on everyone? My name's Hannah and this video is all about me and my bike. <laughs> <laughs> so my name's Hannah. I'm 21 years old. I live in a van full time with Mo, my awesome fiance. <laughs> <laughs> and um, I've been riding bikes pretty much my whole life. Uh, my parents both ride and they've been riding since I was born. Um, they're mostly roadies so I did start out with a cross-country background. I raced um, four years in Nika. I raced over the hump and a lot of different cross-country races throughout. But now I'm getting into the enduro game. I'm riding gnarlier trails. So once I met Mo, he introduced me to kind of the fun side of mountain biking. <laughs> um, I was honestly pretty miserable racing cross country. I wasn't having a lot of fun anymore. At the beginning it was pretty fun because uh, I am really competitive, but I put way too much pressure on myself. I wasn't feeling it anymore. Uh, so now I'm riding an enduro bike, a long travel 27 and a half bike, the Mojo um, HD4 by Ibis. Um, before this I had a 5010, obviously shorter travel bike. Um, it was my first full suspension. So this is my first long travel full suspension. It's 160 in the front and 152 in the back. For my tires I'm running a Magic Mary 2.3 in the back. I went with a 2.3 just to um, lessen the rolling resistance a little bit. And then with the front I have a Mini and DHF 2.6. I really like this combo of tires. As far as my suspension goes I have a Fox 30 six up front um 160 millimeters of travel and then in the back i have a fox x2 152 millimeters of travel i really like the fox 36 before this bike on my 5010 i had a pike and you know i'm not the most technical person but i do really like the way that the fox 36 feels i really like my x2 it's really really plush it gives me um just about all the travel that i need as far as my gearing goes i went with the more budget build um for my gearing because I don't really need XX1 or X01. I feel like the GX, it does just about all I need to do and I'm not really a weight weenie, so there you go. <laughs> so I had X01 on my last bike. Um, I really don't feel a huge difference. Shifting feels the same. And on this bike, unlike my last bike, I have Eagle, which I'm absolutely in love with. Nice to have that extra big ring. So this is actually my favorite dropper post. I'm running the Fox Transfer. I've I've tried the KS Love on my old racing hardtail. I know that's kind of weird that I ran a dropper post on a cross country bike, but I guess there was always there was always an enduro girl in me. <laughs> and then I also ran the RockShock Reverb, which I absolutely hated. I ended up getting a warranty on that, and then I sold the Reverb and Specialized Command Post, and it was a pile of dog poop. It was awful. It was so unreliable. Um, it was really loud. It was just awful. And now I'm running the Fox Transfer it is up there with the KS Lev for me. It's probably a little bit above the Lev just because I've had this bike for, for over a year now and I haven't had the maintenance at all. And I ride somewhat regularly so that's nice. And the wheels, I am a little bit spoiled <laughs> and I guess I am a little bit of a weight weenie in this category. Um, I got the Ibis um, carbon wheels. I like them a lot. <laughs> um, I try not to break them but sometimes I break them. I do need cush core. Um, on my next bike check I'll definitely have cush core. And then as far as what brakes I'm running, I'm running just the Shimano, um, I had to look at them, the Shimano Dior brakes, 180 rotors. And as far as pedals go, I'm really happy with these. These are actually my first ever flat pedals. Before I met Mo, I was running clipless because I was a cross country girl, but now I'm an enduro girl, so I have flat pedals. <laughs> So I have the, um, the the DD Blade Runners. Yeah, they're they're very thin, um, and they're not they're not super big, um, which is nice because I don't have as big of a foot as Mo. I've also tried the Atlas. I think the Atlas are also great pedals. And now for my review of the bike. As for the way the bike climbs, I'm really really happy with it. Coming from a cross country background, I'm used to very short travel bikes, possibly pretty much rigid bikes. So yeah, I'm actually surprised at how well this bike climbs, despite the amount of travel that. It has so that's great I like the climbing so now for my favorite part of riding um, because let's face it I hate climbing the descents so this bike descends really well it's very nimble um, very poppy it's very stable too I've taken it um, to a lot of uh, like rowdy trails like bootleg and then Squamish Sedona Utah I've taken it a bunch of places and it really it really does a great job descending but at the same time, I think I'm transitioning into wanting something just a little bit more stable and a little bit more burly, just so I can plow through chunk a little bit more and not be as concerned about whether or not my bike is gonna remain in one piece. It's really held its own, but at the same time, 
I think I'd have more fun on something just a little bit more stable. So all in all, I really, really love this bike. I'd recommend it to anyone who is in the market for a really playful and nimble enduro bike that can still climb really well. And if you guys are interested in any of the components that I have in my bike, as always, those are going to be listed in the description. And we also work with Worldwide Cycling. They're super awesome. They actually gave us a discount code to use on their website that I'll give you 10% off your entire order with them. Um, the code is AwesomeMTB10. That's also listed in the description as well. You can follow me on Instagram at HannahTheCook and you can also follow Mo at MoAwesome. Thanks for tuning in. If you guys have any questions about um, my bike or anything related to this video or any questions at all or anything, you can comment them down below. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and until next time you guys, ride awesome. You.